Hey y'all, so I just completed a video of what has been going on these past couple of weeks and I forgot to mention a couple things that I really want to bring to your attention. So she did prescribe some allergy medicine, okay? She did prescribe an ointment. This ointment is good for, I believe, like irritation of the itching and so forth, but it's also good for hormone um, in balance, those that don't have that lack to produce certain stress hormones, cortisol, I believe. Okay, you cannot use this ointment on open wounds. Now, my son was itchy a little bit, had a couple scabs. I was in shock that she prescribed this. Now, where was her mind at when she prescribed this? Was she thinking my son was in stress? Because this medicine is not good for open room wounds, okay? I have not placed this on my son because I did my research before. And I have all respect for the doctor, but just because she's in that uniform does not necessarily mean that her mind is at the best interest of my child. I'm not saying they don't have the best interest. I'm saying sometimes they have so much patience in that in that room she also said i'm gonna look in my book of rashes so they do, do do some research also on their end i did not put this on my child i don't know what would have happened if i would have because he does have a little bit of open wounds for scratching i did my best to cover it but she did send me home with this stress management toolbox because she said covid has done a number on certain people I think COVID taught us certain things in our life, like who we connect with, how we connect with those in our lives, our loved ones, you know, and it taught us, it should have shown us, and it, we should have had reflection on what we need to do to heal and fix. It did cause, I would say, isolation and Probably not so good things happened to those that cannot control their emotions or their desires and certain things of that sort. But we won't get into that here. So she kind of, she opened it and she sold my son a picture too. And he's like, oh, I like coloring. She's like, yeah, I thought you would. And she's like, mom, you probably don't need it. But I know COVID has done a job on all of us. And I said, okay. I didn't get offended. I just let her give it to me. It was giving her peace of mind to give it to me. And then. And it has some techniques here. No, I will not engage in yoga and teach my son about yoga. But it came to this yesterday. Actually, he decided to color the my worry jar. And he's like, Mama, what is my worry jar? I said, well, this jar is for your thoughts, baby. Is there something that you're constantly thinking of that your mind is just thinking of and thinking of? Um, it could be a positive you know, thing. It could be... A negative thing because a positive worry or positive thought can turn into a negative thought if you continuously are fixated on certain things okay I'm pretty sure what that word and he's like no mama so I said that's what the doctor was implying here with my worry jar and he's like I said so is there anything you're worried about and he said again the heart monitor mama and I said okay my guy do you want to put the heart monitor in here? He said, nope, I just I just colored it so because it's a color, it's a cup of water for me. And I said, okay. I said, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful cup of water. And I said, do you want to keep coloring? And he said, no. So yeah, she um, gave me this. I thought I would throw this in. And yeah. I pray that y'all have an amazing day. And um Make it a good day.